On this Community Wednesday, we're reviewing our first user-submitted weapon build. So, let's get into our very first rating subscriber builds. While the structure may seem a lot like a gun guide, it is not. This is me simply reviewing a build that was sent to me. So make sure to listen to everything I gotta say about it before using it for yourself. And even if I highly praise a build and maybe add a few tweaks, unless I say that this is the most optimal build, make sure to wait for a full gun guide on that weapon. Today's build was sent in by Tom and he described it as the all-rounder Milano. He says it performs pretty well at pretty much any range, but it has a slight advantage at mid-range. For medium range, I would normally categorize that as 30 to 65 meters. But for an SMG, I would accept decent performance between 20 and 40 meters. I must admit that personally, I'm not a big fan of the Milano, and this is all due to me losing a lot of gunfights while I was trying to level it up. Regardless, I will try this out and get its stats and see if it does what he says it does. The build is the Milano 821 with the Agency Suppressor, Cobra Red Dot, Raider Stock, Foregrip, and the 45 round Speed Mag. I wasn't given any explanation why these attachments were chosen, but if I had to guess, the Agency Suppressor was chosen to increase the range because it's supposed to be an all-around weapon. The Cobra Red Dot was to increase the zoom because it zooms in as much as a Modern Warfare holographic sight. The Raider Stock is to make performance at close range better with that better sprint out speed and ADS strafe. Foregrip to help with the longer range engagements and the 45 round speed mag to slightly increase the ammo but also increasing the reload speed. So let's get into the stats, starting with mobility. Its ADS is pretty good compared to most weapons and pretty standard compared to other SMGs. Its reload speed is pretty good when you tactical reload and slightly above average when reloaded normally. Its magazine cap is 45, which is enough to comfortably take out two people and if you're pretty accurate, get three. Since this is a Cold War SMG, its movement and sprint speeds are pretty great. Its ADS strafe is above average and one of the better SMG ADS strafe speeds. Its sprint out and tax sprint out though are above average when compared to other weapons, but not the greatest when compared to other SMGs. Its stability though does come to 1.5T, which is great for any weapon. Its bullet velocity though comes in at 444.4 meters per second, which is pretty slow. And this means that at 44 meters, you will have to start leading your targets. And its rate of fire comes in at 9.63 rounds per second, which is pretty low for an SMG. So when we add up all the mobility things, we get a total score of 38, which is in line for most SMGs. Its recoil is quite interesting. It goes up and then makes a sharp right, which is really jarring and unexpected. However, we gotta remember that the gun fires really slow, so it is really easy to control, at least if you're expecting it. But if its fire rate were higher, it would be getting a much lower score. So it gets a recoil score of 39. Now for its damage. And those of you who know your stats, you may recognize that this is really, really close to the damage profile of the Modern Warfare MP5. The difference between the Milano and the MP5 though is that the Milano has a much, much slower rate of fire. In the first damage range of the Milano, the closest it gets to a competitive time is its head. You would need to get five headshots in order to down someone before they downed you. And this is assuming they aren't using a meta close range weapon and are getting a mix of lower torso and upper torso shots. In its second damage range, even if you hit every single shot and you even fire first, there's a good chance that you're probably going to lose that fight. And that's because, unless you're hitting headshots, you will need basically a full second of sustained fire in order to down someone. And because of its slow fire rate, every shot missed adds a little over 100 milliseconds to a TTK. So it would definitely be enough time for someone to basically down you twice over by the time you were to down them. On its third damage range, so after 28 meters, it's going to require over a second and almost a second and a half if you hit any limb shots to down someone. So you cannot miss and you want to get as many headshots in there as possible. And remember, this is starting at 28 meters, where most other weapons, especially long-range assault rifles, are still in their first damage range and have a TTK literally half of this. Because of its low performance, it gets a total damage score of 19.92. Sometimes though, the Milano can feel like it's decent. Why is this though? The answer is the mode you're playing in. Most of the time when you feel like it's pretty good, it's in plunder. And this is because most people have either two plates or no plates. Normally, you need eight shots to down someone at close range. But 
If they only have two plates, that gets cut down to six. So that's two shots less, which is 200 milliseconds lost. And if they have only one plate, you only need five shots to down someone. And if they have no plates, that can be a three shot kill or a two shot headshot. So if you're at close range, you got three plates and the enemy has two, then your time to kill is only 519 milliseconds, which is pretty great. And unless they have a meta close range weapon, they're probably gonna lose that fight. Just pay attention to your health bar though, and see how close you were cutting it. The difficulty starts coming in when you start facing people with meta builds, even if they have less plates than you, and people who have a good idea of how the game works, even if they aren't using the best weapons. So like I said, there's really nothing much you can do about this weapon. You can hit every single shot and still lose, and that's just because this weapon was not balanced for Warzone correctly. And when we add up all the categories, it gets a final score of 96.92, putting it into class 4. Just a reminder, other class 4 weapons are sniper rifles, shotguns, and pistols. Other than pretty good mobility, although nothing special compared to other Cold War weapons, and slightly better than average recoil, and remember this is only 2 points higher than the PPSH, this doesn't really have much to offer. Now, the stats and I have said a lot of negative things about this gun, but I want to show you that there's nothing really wrong with this build. The recoil could be a little bit better if he used a field agent foregrip instead of the normal foregrip, and the bullet velocity would be better if he used a better barrel, but honestly, it wouldn't be making that much of a difference because, in the end, that TTK is way too slow to be competitive anywhere. So is it an all-rounder build with a advantage at mid-range? It's an all-rounder as in it's pretty poor at every range, but it definitely does not have an advantage between 20 and 40 meters. So I'm sorry, this is not the best build. Or actually, it is a good build. It's just built on a bad gun. At this point of the video, I would normally talk about how to use this build and what its pros and cons are. But honestly, I would never recommend this weapon to anyone. Not, not the build, just the weapon in general. Never use the Milano until it gets a buff. But if for some reason you have to use it, the only way that I would recommend that you use this is getting the jump on someone and shooting them in their back while they're running away. And when you do get the jump on someone, make sure you've got at least three plates before you open fire and make sure their back is turned to you when you do. Even if you get a jump on someone, you're basically flipping a coin because they may have three plates, they may have one plate, and you may get a three shot kill, which would be great. But they may have a meta weapon and they may turn around and just beam you before you are even halfway done taking other plates. And my recommended range for this build, or this weapon in general, would be under its first drop off range. Although, under that drop off range, there's a really great chance that someone's gonna definitely kill you. And if you go to the second and third, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose. So my recommendation, if you still want the best all around, slow firing, but hard hitting SMG, then forget about the Milano and get the LC-10, because that is what the Milano should have been. But if you want the best sniper support SMG, or actually best all-around SMG in Warzone, check out last week's video on the PBSA-21. It is, in my opinion, the best SMG in the game right now, and there's not much that can compete with it at any SMG range. But that's the Milano, and I do apologize if I do seem a bit harsh. And like I said before, there was nothing really wrong with the build. In some cases, the build is what needs a little bit of tweaking to be performing optimally. But in this case, it's a rare occasion where the gun itself is the problem. But there is no shame in submitting a build that doesn't have the greatest stats. And this is because you can use this as a learning point. You can see what you need to work on, and it may explain why you're losing those gunfights. Sometimes you may think, wow, I'm hitting every single shot, but I'm still losing. Why is this? Well, now you know. And that's why I couldn't offer much advice other than to basically use something else. But don't discourage from commenting again and submitting another build to be reviewed because you can learn so much more about the game this way. So if you're interested in getting your build reviewed or if you've got any questions, topics, or ideas you want me to cover, just leave them below here or on Instagram. And that's the video. If you enjoyed it or has helped you in any way, please hit like. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you want to make sure that you never miss another video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.